hello everyone welcome to engineering drawing tutorials so now we are going to discuss about the uh, sections of a solid here the cone is given so the problem is given like this a cone of 50 mm diameter base and 70 mm axis is standing on its base on hp that is horizontal plane and it is cut by a section plane 45 degrees inclined to the horizontal plane to the base end of the end generator so we need to draw the projections, sectional views, true shape of the section and development of the surfaces of remaining solid after cutting. Okay, now. So uh, here the cone is resting on horizontal plane with its axis perpendicular to the horizontal plane. So first we have to show the what is the front view, what is the top view. So first we need to select. So try to draw XY reference line. So with reference to this XY reference line, when the solid is resting on horizontal plane in which we can see the base size that is the base of the solid that we have to draw so in the top view we can see the base that is the circle that is the base of the cone is circle so with reference to the 50 mm diameter select the 50 mm diameter that is 5 centimeters on the compass and select any select at any distance below the x reference line center point and try to draw the circle uh, with equal to the diameter 50 mm and look at the center point and try to divide it into eight equal parts okay now so this eight equal parts we are dividing for uh, uh, getting the convenience for representing the sectional view there is the cut shape of the solid okay now after that give the names like a b c d e f g h okay so next similarly from this a b c d points draw the projection lines and this dashed line represents the axis of the solid which is equal to the height of the solid that is the cone 70 mm so from all these uh, projected intersecting points okay uh, join this point to the uh, end point of the axis here that is the apex point so like this we can draw the cone in the front view and try to represent the generators also so by joining like this we can represent the generators so this generator will represent the two generators one is related to h and another one is related to b okay when you are seeing in front view these two generators will be looking like one only so that means these two generators will be lying at the same line only okay similarly this one also generator is related to f and d also okay na? so now try to give the name similarly okay so a dash h dash h dash comma b dash c dash comma g dash f dash comma d dash and e dash okay so now give the name of the apex as o dash apex means the topmost point of the cone as o dash okay now try to represent the section plane which is inclined at an angle of 45 degrees to the horizontal plane so 45 degrees to the horizontal planes means automatically it is inclined to the xy reference line only and it is uh, passing through the end of the end generator so we can consider this end generator okay in front view the o dash a dash we can consider the end generator so from the end of end, end generator the section plane is passing so try to make the protractor here at the point of a dash and try to represent the inclination 45 degrees so after representing the 45 degrees point try to draw the so before that um, i want to show you this side view here so when you look at the object in the left side view the right side will be getting the left side view so the height and the shape will be equal because it is a cone in every each and every side will be seeing the uh, rect sorry triangle which is equal to the uh, size is equal to the diameter and the height is equal to the axis of the cone so again represent the generators also according to the whatever the distance you are getting here in between a dash and h dash comma b dash and e dash and f dash comma d dash same distances we can represent okay now so by representing the distances you can draw the uh, what are these uh, generators we can draw in the left side view. so according to that axis and try to represent the uh, that is uh, uh, points of uh, intersection of the generators on the base circle so when you are looking at the left side view okay observe in the top view so whatever the cursor i am showing this one will be the left side view so in this left side view the top the top extremes extreme extreme points are g comma c so likewise here we will be getting g double dash comma c double dash similarly in the left, uh, left side view h and f will be lying at the same point so similarly h f we got and similarly a and e will be lying at the same point so similarly a, a double dash comma e double dash we got 
and similarly in left side view bd uh, will be looking like at the same point so similarly b double dash comma d double dash we have represented so this is the way of giving the naming in the left side view so next i have drawn the that is the sectional plane here okay sectional plane is inclined at an angle of 45 degrees and it is passing through the end of the end generator okay this is the a dash is the end of the end generator in the front view so at this point you need to look at the 45 degrees point then draw the sectional plane okay so after, after that uh, try to project the lines from the intersecting points between the generators and the sectional plane okay here sectional plane is cutting the generators uh, first generator here o dash e dash next o dash d dash here next o dash comma c dash g dash will be here similarly o dash o dash to b dash and h dash okay na? and similarly o dash to a dash at the bottom it is intersecting so from all these intersecting points on the generators try to draw the straight lines that is the projection lines to the top view so try to draw the projection lines like this until they intersect the generator okay na? so now here this arrow mark is uh, drawn for getting the intersecting point on the generators of og comma oc okay na? so by drawing the straight line from this point here by drawing the straight line from this point here intersecting point will become the uh, Sex, uh, cut point on the solid that is the core so that means this point will give you the where the sectional plane is passing on the OE generator so from the OE generator you got you have drawn a straight line until it intersect the OE generator on the top view similarly from O dash and D dash the straight line we have drawn until it will intersect the line on the O dash and D dash and O dash and OD and OF here okay this line should be extended here so this line will be intersecting here okay na? so likewise uh, from each and every generator what are the projection lines you have drawn with with respect to that you need to look at the intersecting point similarly on the axis here the intersecting point is taking place if you draw a line from this intersecting point here we won't get the exact points through which the sectional plane is passing in the top view so for that what you have to do so what are the intersecting point is taking place in the front view in between the generators of o dash and c o dash to c dash and g dash so from that point draw a horizontal line exactly until it intersect this end generator okay so from that end generator draw the vertical line okay now so whatever the intersecting point you got here from this o point to this uh, intersecting point take the radius by using the compass with o dash as center o as center try to draw the semicircle until it intersects again the generator of og and cg so these points will give you the uh, points at through which the sectional plane is passing so likewise two points will be getting similarly look at the points okay according to the uh, projection lines you have drawn from the generators at which the uh, sectional plane is cutting okay now similarly in the left side view also i want to represent the uh, cross-sectional cross-sectional view for getting the uh, section view we need to represent the points like this in the left side view also so for that also from all these uh, intersecting points from the generators try to draw the horizontal lines okay so after drawing we need to represent the point so this point is obtained on the generator of o to h dash or o to f so how it will be means here this line should be again from the o to h o dash to h dash here the generator okay now so o dash to h dash you have drawn a line so here you got one intersecting point that is related to the again in the left side view o to h double dash similarly another point look at so this point is related to the end generator that is o c dash and here this line should be from the c only so that means here if you take the c o to c exactly on the axis it is the intersecting so from this point you need to draw the horizontal line so this point will give you the uh, uh, section point through which the sectional plane is passing in a left side view similarly look at another point so which is related to again same end generator when you, when you look at the uh, solid in the left side view oc dash and og dash are the end generator similarly the g dash point also lies on the same point so from this point to draw the already you have drawn the line so what are the intersecting point you are getting on o2 g double dash that becomes the point through which the sectional plane is passing in, in the left side view. Similarly, look at another point here. So this point is related to the generator again. O to F double dash. Okay, now this line is drawn from the 
O2F. This is the generator O2F. So from this O2F, you have drawn the horizontal line. Here it is intersecting. So related to O2F. So okay, that is the intersecting point through which the sectional plane is passing in the left side view. Similarly, locate another point. So this point is related to again O2. O to D double dash. Similarly, here O to D double dash is also same intersecting point. From that, same horizontal line will be getting. So that horizontal line intersecting on the O D O D double dash generator that becomes the uh, point through which the sectional plane is passing in the left side view. Similarly, locate the point on the uh, which generator here that is on O E double dash generator. Similarly, O A double dash means here through A here it is passing the sectional plane. Similarly, at the bottom, you will be getting the point through which the sectional plane will be passing. Similarly, O to D double dash you will be getting. Okay, now O to D double dash here. This point is related to O to D double dash. Why? Because here it is the O D generator. So from this intersecting point, already you have drawn the horizontal line, which is already drawn from this point. Okay, now so this point is related to O to D double dash. Okay, so now try to join all the points by using a smooth by a smooth curve. Uh, with a pencil, so automatically you will be getting the cross-sectional view in the top view, cross-sectional shape that is the sectional shape in the shape of the section, shape of the section in the top view and the left side view. So give the shading for the sectional view. Similarly, we have to produce the true shape. So when the true shape is obtained, means uh, whenever you, whenever we see the uh, sectioned uh, plane. Normal to this sectional plane. So whenever we observe the solid normal to the sectional plane, in that case we can see the true shape of the uh, section. Okay, na. So for that, parallel to this uh, sectional line. Okay. So draw a parallel line. Okay, na. So from this again, whatever the intersecting point you got for the generators, uh, from the uh, intersecting points of the uh, sectional plane. So draw the Lines perpendicular to the sectional plane again, like this. Okay, now from each and every intersecting point in between the generators and the sectional plane, draw the perpendicular lines to the sectional plane. Okay, now so now we need to represent the points through which we can represent the true shape of the sectioned shape. Means here, so take from this x y reference line. So take the compass, take the length a dash to a here, and from X X one dash line. So from this point, represent one point here. Okay, na. Similarly, again take the uh, length e dash to e. Same length will be there. So similarly, with this point, with respect to this point as center here, on the X one Y one line, try to locate another point here. Okay. Similarly, another point here. This is related to the generator. Okay, na. Related to the generator O H and O P. Okay, na. This generator. Okay. So again, take the compass. Okay, from this uh, x y, uh, oh yes, from this uh, x y reference line, use the compass and take this distance from this point to h. So here, whatever the intersecting point you got, take the distance and locate the point here. Similarly, same length can be applied to the b also. So from b, where is the projection line is taking place? At that place, again locate another point here. Okay, these two distances are same. From which we can consider from x y reference line to this point. Okay, na. And similarly, for getting this, uh, from which generator you have drawn O dash to D dash. Similarly, take the length. Okay, na. Take the length from x y reference line to the here f dash. Okay, na. First, to take the f dash. Why? Because f d both are lying on the same line only. So for that, take the distance x y reference line to f dash. Then locate the Point there, okay. So similarly, again take the remaining length, okay now. So now for locating this point, what you have to do from the same x y reference line. So this is uh, up to d we have to take, okay now on the same line from x y reference to the line to the t, take the length and locate the point. Similarly, another length you have to take, same that is from the generator C G only. So from this uh, point as center, okay. Take the distance here. So this point to this point. So initially this point is located. Once again, listen here, ma. So this point is located from uh, this point that is the x y reference line to the G. Similarly, next this point is located from x y reference line to the 
C. So that's why we'll be getting this point. Similarly, for getting the uh, point above this point again, we have to take the distance from the x-y reference line to the this b point distance. Okay, na? So locate the point. So by locating all these points, join by using smooth curve, then we'll be getting the true shape of the section. Okay, na? this is the true shape of the section. Next, we have to go for the development of the surface of the remaining solid. So whenever you cut the cone, we'll be getting the a sector shape so for uh, finding that you have to draw the two lines with certain inclination okay this inclination can be determined by theta is equal to r by l okay now r by l into 360 degrees so r means radius of the uh, sorry r means uh, radius of the base okay and l is the slant height okay now with reference to the radius of the base and slant height that is theta is equal to r by l into 360 by calculating we will be getting the theta value so whatever the theta value you are getting with respect to that draw the two lines and this length of the line should be equal to the slant height of the cone here okay now so after that try to draw the curve okay and once again divide it into eight equal parts here already you have divided it into eight equal parts similarly whatever the angles you are getting when you are dividing it into eight equal parts by using the same angle value divided into eight equal parts and give the naming as a b c d e f g h and again a okay now so like this we need to give the name so now i want to repair the uh, point on the oa okay now on the oa so oa means already here from the edge it is passing so at this point we are cutting the cone means at the two ends the points will be same okay now for the development of the surface and on the point h is obtained by getting the distance okay now getting the distance of the point on the h generator okay in left side view where is the h generator this is the h generator okay now go to h double dash so take the compass okay and take the distance o to h double dash and this distance will be equal to the o, o to this point on the o to b double dash okay now so whatever the distance you are taking locate the point here and locate the point on the ob generator also okay similarly next for locating this point on oc generator you have to take the distance of the point which is on oc generator so this is the oc generator last end generator in the left side here so take the compass from this apex point to this point take the distance and this point again up to this point the distance is same so that means on the generator of OC, on the generator of OG, we can locate the point with the same distance. So likewise, on the OC, locate the point, on the OG, locate the point. Similarly, we need to represent the point on OD and OF. So this for getting this uh, point on the OD generator in the left side view. So this one is the OD generator. So related to OD generator, the required point is this one. Okay now. So up to this, take the compass again from the apex point to this point, take the length and this length will be equal to again from apex point to this point here. Okay now, so this point and this point, both the lengths are equal. Okay, so those can be represented on OD and OF. Okay now, on OD and OS, the points are represented with the same distance. Okay, similarly for locating the point on the OE, same final point is this one from apex to this point, take the length on the compass. Okay, and represent the point on the E. Okay, now so these are all the points obtained. So by joining all these points, we'll be getting the smooth curve. Okay, which will represent the development of the surface. So that's that means here this dark end part is the actual developed surface after cutting the cone, after removal of this part, after developing the surface, we'll be getting the shape like this. Okay, so now to finally write the sectional top view, okay, sectional side view, and true shape of the section and the development of the surface and the section plane okay so this is the way of drawing the development of the surface when the section is given to the solid okay now as well as here we have discussed section of a solid and the development of the section the solid okay i hope you understand if you still have any doubts please feel free to give a comment to my video so that i'll try to clarify your doubts and once again thanks for watching my video thank you all